Hello YouTube and welcome. Checking the mic level, checking the video. Here we go. Let's play some settlement survival. We're just going to hit continue to go back to what we were just playing the other night. We're continuing this Halloween event while it's still going. So we are really close to finishing up our jack-o'-lantern structure. We're at 54 out of 99, essentially halfway there on the pumpkin treats. And the giant jack-o'-lantern is going to provide a giant jack-o'-lantern, right? No, it's going to provide a huge stress relief bonus every five years for our citizens. And I'm really interested to see what it looks like. Other things going on in this event. Pumpkins look bigger. Now, granted, these are still growing, so they don't look that big right now. There's jack-o'-lanterns on people's houses celebrating the thing. Kids will go around in October looking for uh, trick-or-treats and candy and stuff. We've got three candy workshops all working on pumpkin treats. We might want to get into candy afterwards, but, you know, it's a seasonal event. Let's just make the most of it. I'm actually going to unpause while we talk about this. I, again, I love how calm and beautiful this music is. It's, it's probably my favorite part about the game besides the gameplay itself. Uh, yeah, our meat shop, the butcher, they're... They don't get to stay super busy for now, but we've got these two giant fields that are about to start culling their populations as they... So, like, the way a pasture works is, uh... It'll show you the current number right here. It says, like, right there. It says the current number, which is, like, the number of sheep in this field, right? This is as big of a pasture as you can build. 20 by 20. And it has the current number of 28. And I can set the max capacity down or up. Right? But at 34, every sheep beyond that, they'll start killing a sheep. So if it ever gets to 35, they'll kill a sheep. And that drops to 30 mutton, 7 fat, 2 wool, and 2 dung. Well, sorry, the 2 wool and 2 dung are daily gathered from the sheep. So we're getting a lot of poop. We're getting a lot of wool from these guys, especially once it gets up to 34. Now, the alpaca are similar, but they provide a little less, or a little more food and fat, but less wool on the daily. Now, we've also got flax, which is allowing us to produce these pumpkin heads. Uh, they haven't made any yet, but we just got them going on that at the end of the last video let's go ahead and put another person in there and they can start producing these pumpkin heads which are supposed to change the look of our villagers i think that's the last element of the seasonal event oh we've got some immigrants coming in and i have no open housing which means that we need to build a market because uh, the market will allow us to start like a new town center and uh, where we want to place that is a, oh, let's calm it and send it home. Traces of rare animals from days ago are found near the bear. You can send hunters to catch them, but the chances are slim. Okay. Um, I think I want to build a marketplace kind of down here, even though this would be a good mine spot. Um. I think I'm okay with taking advantage of it for housing. We'll just place it there. Now, we can't place houses around it yet. Uh, we'll accept the 18 immigrants, which gives us a new administrator. Tree regeneration interval minus 10%. Efficiency of processing structures. Yeah, let's increase efficiency of processing structures. So when we build a market, we're going to want to build a storage facility right next to it. Uh, just to get the logistics going. And then we'll make that the same size. 8 by 8. Oh, I didn't click on the right square. Let's zoom in a little. 8 by 8. And then we can 
plan for our houses to go along here, but we are going to need some services to be placed down over here. Such as the clinic. Actually, we could just go straight to the hospital. And we can go for the boiler room. Uh, which may be... Like, I don't want those concentric circles to surround each other too much. There we go. Place down our boiler room. We can get another clinic on board. Oh, we did the hospital. We can get a chapel on board. And then we'll build the houses once they're done building this. So it looks like they're almost done. There they go. And then we'll just go ahead and just place down rows and rows and rows of houses. Four, five. I don't know why I'm counting other than it's satisfying to count. Anyone else feel that way? Two, three. Yeah, I should. I want to cancel these three homes. And <laughs> just to move them over a square so I can get another road next to all these logistics yards, the storage yards. Boom, boom, boom. Calming music, calming music. Love it. Uh, we can place down some more houses now. Boom, 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 boom. And then I probably should place down a latrine. The latrine allows people to use the restroom. And we can collect the animal dung from that. But it also increases their health. Which makes sense. In, in some disease way. So our apiaries are producing 700 honey per year. And that's given us a reserve of 350, so that's great. That means we could probably throw someone else in the candy workshop, because we're only at 62. Purchasing books for 100 silver is always a good deal in my mind. Not even sure. I didn't even read which books. Whoops. Our senior mine is built. We could upgrade this one, but we still have 53% inventory. We want to go for probably our quarry next. Ooh, let's check our access points since we're playing with tourism, which is supported downloadable content. We're at 1,000, so we're 500 away from our next intended purchase. Now, we could always go for a commercial building, but you kind of have to like have goods to sell there, so let's not do that. Uh, so these are tourists. I wonder... Oh, they're, they've got the meat symbol because they want to taste food. So that would be encouraging for us to create the tourism building. I didn't even know how you kick on tourists until now. That would encourage us to build a cafe where we could do simple foods. Now, we don't make any simple foods, but we certainly will be. Oh, now that our sheep population is full. 34 out of 34, girl. Come on. Oh, and we finally slaughtered one because we see that it's 54 and 13. That means we've slaughtered two, probably. Pumpkin heads. We've made 76 this year. That means some of our citizens are probably wearing those. I 
want to I want to find one. Hopefully, eventually, all of our citizens will wear them. So, temperature one, I don't know what that means. I guess it, like, gives them more temperature resistance. Um, happiness 20. Durability 400. An outfit with a pumpkin head costume made of pumpkin and flax in the tailor. It can keep citizens warm. So, yeah, that's a, a warm thing. Temperature one. This event item can only be produced during the event time. Okay, so... Once this event's over, even though we already have it in our settlement and unlocked and a recipe chosen, it doesn't sound like we'll be able to continue that. Here, let's set our souvenirs up to 500, and then we'll go back to cut stone after that. We have zero paper in reserves, which makes a lot of sense since we've got a lot of research centers and stuff and only two paper mills. But maybe, yeah, we can throw down another one. Oh, no, 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 no. We have unlocked the faction bonus for the paper, for the size paper mill, zoos, who knows. Again, it's not in English, so, and like, I don't even know how to pronounce English sometimes, so. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I still haven't looked it up. Um, it's production building, huh? Yeah, processing. You know, the buildings that we just gave a bonus to? 20%, I think? Seems like a lot. That's probably why I chose it. Well, it's not processing, turns out. Well, it might be. But... Uh, no, 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 no. It's a service building. Oh, but it's slightly bigger, so it doesn't fit in that spot. Yep, well, I guess now we know. But I could have technically deleted the dock. 71 out of 99. Like, I don't feel like it should take this long for... 99 pumpkins to get in here but once all those pumpkins are in here my stress will be reduced by 15% so that's something I look forward to <laughs> we've got new tech points 15 citizens want houses but we're building those as we speak um, we also have 47 people not doing anything. That is so many people. That's like more than our settlement started with. It's insane to me. We're already at a thousand cotton cloth. Okay, well, I guess we'll make it 2,000 cloth. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> uh, production limit has been met on the bricks. So we can switch over. Oh, it hasn't been. Except for the glass bottles. Oh, we've reached 200. Okay, yeah. Let's make that one 800 as well. We did get to add the ovens in uh, at the end of the last episode, and that is boosting up our production speed in these two candy warehouses. We just ordered them off of the from the trader. When we formed a caravan, we were buying from uh, yeah yeah the oven and the luxury bedding, and that was great. I, I like increased production speed. I just chose an administrator that backs up that claim. All right, they're chopping away all those trees. 48 people. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? <clears throat> yeah, we can sell we, we can sell alpaca wool. We got plenty of that coming in. But we do have tech points. So maybe it is time to start building out, like, food a little bit more, which is going to involve salt. 
and barbecue. What's a meat feast? Furniture and pottery. Beer and roasted turkey. Okay, yeah, no, that's not happening. Sugar refining might be nice. And then we could order one of these seeds and start planting it. Okay, so, or and then eventually we get to canned food. Can process vegetables and salt or fruits and sugar and meat chop. Fish and salt into vegetable can or fruit can or meat can. That is such a weird description. Oh, hey, right, we got the two points. Let's do it. Let's check it out. You know, uh, we're, we're focused on the seasonal event, but that's already ticking as, about as fast as it can. Oh, now we're at zero, honey. Got it, coach. So that means we need more apiaries. It's a good thing we didn't lose focus. Kept our eyes on the prize. Let's keep working on this stuff. And we only have six builders, but they seem to be building just fine. Uh, plenty of workers. Okay, and then... Oh, no, that house filled up. <laughs> wow, yep, we're going to need more homes. I feel like I'm all over the place right now. Oh, that's where the latrine is. Got it. Boom. Okay. That's at least a few more houses to keep our builders busy. Uh, we might need more fuel now that we have a boiler room going. I mean, we got the people, that's for sure. Which means we should definitely do the trade route, right? Let's form caravan. Let's sell more of our stuff. Um, I mean, we can just sell, we, we, we can just sell the pumpkins, right? 1,100 pumpkins is 1,100 weight. So that gets that covered. Hit the sell button to add that into the selling inventory. And then let's look at seeds. We wanted something that would provide us with like sugar. So sugar cane. Output 15 per grid. 100 days. Can be grown in a field. Sugar beets. 15 per grid. 100 days. Grown in a field. They're both 6,000. You know what? Let's checks math let's buy uh, just one of them and then we can form that caravan send seven people out please is there anything here we want organized bag we can acquire 30 more inventory we're good warm fire straw iron tools pumpkin seeds squash seeds the two seeds I own thanks Thanks for that. <clears throat> so, we now have the salt works, which we can place right here and right here, and that'll give us access to salt is going to be an important cooking ingredient for us. And I'll just throw down a small little storage yard there too because I got the space. We may as well use it for storage, right? You know what? I'll take the same mindset here and here. Toss a little road in there. Just in case our builders get bored. 
you know, they have a tendency to do that. And we can throw down a storage yard right next to our jack-o'-lantern. I, I, I like this. I like this. Just fill in the spaces, right? Yeah, here we go. Oh, can't do it eight by one. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That would look ridiculous. Maybe I'll have to put, like, a decoration there or something. And then I can't build anything here, right? So let's just uh, throw down two storage yards, like the size of a house. All right. Connect the roads. I'm definitely all over the place today. That's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> uh, all right, they'll get the salt works done, and then we can do our jam workshop, a cannery, and a barbecue house. We can even get to the clothing factory. That's an upgrade, eh? We'll place down the barbecue house. Barbecue. I feel like I need to move this masonry workshop. But you know what? I'm not gonna. Barbecue workhouse. So we'll start two roads out this way. Uh, I think it's okay for us to work on maybe the cannery and the jam. Oh, no, no, no. We need... We're going to need stuff before we do that. Ooh. Was that three? Is that three tourists this time? Let's check. Four tourists? Sorry, people are moving here because of tourism. So we're at 216 steel tools. That's wonderful. I think it's safe because our population is well over 200 now to go up to 1,000 on that. We can never have enough steel tools. We could probably sell them. Yeah, our population's growing like crazy. We're at 80 out of 99, y'all. This is not a drill. We're at 80 out of 99 of our pumpkin treats. And I haven't seen a single jack-o'-lantern head yet. Surely the people working here have a jack-o'-lantern head, right? No, no, no. Even they don't. Like, it's in their backpack, but they're not actually going to wear it. She lives in this house way the heck over here. What a commute. It's like the next village over. Practically. Planks and fuel seem like they're holding up pretty well. Our caravan's 53 days in. All these people are looking for food. Well, let's get the food before I think about purchasing that food building with the access points. It's like we have the points, but we don't have the foods. So what's the point, right? <laughs> what's the points? Uh, and yeah, we're 250 away from the Sun Temple. Or the great, or the giant arch, which I think we're gonna do the giant arch. Which means we're gonna need cut stone. Throw another person in there. Heck, we'll throw two extra people in there. We got 43 ugh, to go. I got so many workers. Am I going to need more water? 
No, we're green on everything except for uh, shoes. Textiles. Oh, so is the pumpkin head just like... If it's the same role... As rough clothes and down jackets. So yeah, people are going to want to wear the down jackets before the pumpkin heads. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. It's made out of simpler materials. But they provide the same happiness bonus. Just less temperature and less durability. Annual production, 139. Annual consumption, 7. So that means 7 people are going walking around in jack lantern hats. Oh, there's one. Look at you. Look at you. Mr. Eli, the quarry worker with the pumpkin head. ha <laughs> ha. That'd be pretty cool to see him at the jack o' lantern festival, or whatever it is that's going on. It may as well be a gala. I don't know. Maybe they're fundraising. All right. Well, I'm less excited about the pumpkin heads now. Like they should be making down jackets. <laughs> But it is an event thing, so it's 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 good to... It, we only have a few more days with making them, so we'll do that. That's fine. My cat's congested, so she's about to sneeze something up. Sorry if you can hear that. I mean, I don't know how you couldn't. I can hear it through my soundproof headphones. I'm sure the microphone's picking it up. Sadly, she makes that noise a lot. Not like super a lot, but I definitely have heard it before. Anyway. Yeah, I just feel like you know, 80 out of 99 is, like, real close. Maybe I can, maybe I have consumption turned on. I mean, I'm pretty sure I do. Maybe I can turn it off. Um, is it fancy food? I don't know what that check bark means. Miners in the settlement feel that the current explosive used for mining are not powerful enough to sustain substantially improve mining efficiency. Thus, they want to develop new explosives, but they couldn't figure out how much salt Peter should be used in the formula. Yeah, we'll start small. Small explosion occurred during the blending, but fortunately, no one was hurt. Okay, it's a good thing we didn't try more. Eighty-six. I mean, we're only at times five. Let's go to times ten. I want to see this happen. It's August of year sixteen. So let's get this done. I got forty-four people not working though. That's it's really bad. not like fully sure what I should do oh let's switch this back to glass I got enough glass bottles oh we've got our lanterns now huh 88 well let's make a lantern thing work efficiency by 10% in there yeah Look at us making improvements. 10% work efficiency in our quarries and our mines. Just from making some lanterns, you know? 
How are you so efficient? Like, we've got one butcher in the whole town, and they can keep up with all these animals. All of them. And our hunters. I may as well just put some people in there, right? Like, how have we made over a hundred pumpkins and it set our consumption... Pumpkin treats. And it sets our consumption zero. But it also set our annual zero, so it might be bugged. Or maybe I just don't know how to read it properly. I took someone out of here, but I feel like I should put them back in. My whole, my whole town was cold there for a second. That must have been when the boiler room was swapping over. Next fuel. Smoked meat is beef and domestic fuel. Sausage is meat chop and domestic fuel. Which is probably what we'll do. But I've got another one over here. So we can really make our choice. Bacon is pork. Ham is pork. And salt. Buffalo jerky. Steak. Butter. Roasted turkey. Rack of lamb. So, mutton and butter. Yeah, well, we don't have butter yet. But we could work on it, maybe. Oh, no, we don't have, like... We probably don't have the milk. Oh, it's too bad. We don't have pork or buffalo. Because then we could use our salt. I wonder what I need salt for. I mean, I know salt's important in a lot of food creation. Looks like our traders are making their way back. <laughs> About to have another seed. Which I guess means that we are going to need some fields for that. It's probably good that it goes over here. Did we ever plant those soybeans? Yes, we did. 89. It feels so close. New seed acquired. Sugar cane. So we'll just get some sugar cane, you know. Why not? Immigrants arrived? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I should accept them into the town. <laughs> Even though we're so packed. 20 immigrants? Alright, let's go. You know what? Let's just fill this place with houses, right? We're filling it. We're filling it. Then I can cancel these six to make room for a little road below them. Is it eight? It's like eight. Six. It was six. Three. One, two, three. 
it felt like eight. <laughs> just some dirt roads still, though. You know, I'm sure some stone roads and stuff would be just fine and dandy. We're eating up a lot of our mining space over here, but I mean, I'm not too worried about my mining at this point. It's like, let's get more people in here so I can have 78 people not working. I think we're going to have to start turning people down. <laughs> Like, how are we ever going to have enough treats for these kids? I could let people start dying, I guess, you know. Then we could have treats for the kids. Just let a few people die. No, we're not going to do that. Not on purpose. Not right now. Wait, our administrator... Oh, procreation. Yeah, let's let's change that. Fruit yield plus ten percent or citizen max HP fifty. Uh let's go fruit yield. That sounds good. More output per input. Textile mills at a thousand. Pumpkin heads are at two hundred. Yeah, we 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 can switch this. Cotton and leather, linen and leather. What are the costumes good for? Made from kind of item that can be used for stage performance, improving happiness brought by the theater. Not open for daily outfit. Okay, so that's like... I mean, that's nice. It'd be a good thing to offer our people, right? Let's get some entertainment and theater. Oh, they're building it. This is not a drill. This time it's really not. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy sewing technique times three for a hundred silver. Sounds great. Guys, it's here. It just took a population of 443 people. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's just like the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so let's hold a feast. Oh, oh, we're missing it. Everyone just goes running to it. Oh, we can do this in real time. Creepy line. Some people missing cutting. Aww. Everyone's doing so well. We can follow this person. Cool. Oh, we know Eli. He's wearing a pumpkin head. And we're following him into a very bright light for him to grab some food. I guess. It's a good thing he carries his basic education certificate around. He's got a very long pickaxe. Oh, that's great. And I like how we got to hit the hold a feast button. Four years, 11 months, 18 days left. <laughs> oh, these little spooky ghosts. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah.
The giant jack-o'-lantern feast. I'm satisfied. Fifteen oh one. We're building the giant arch. Cannot overlap. Got it. So you need to build your own production facilities at each one. Well, that's cool. I don't mind that mechanic at all. Oh, well. I didn't build that right. Well, not... It won't let me place it there, even though it was blue. Is it because I already placed it somewhere else? And it's like, no, you must replace it. I don't know. The giant arch. Have at thee. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so that looks like, uh, you know, that place in France or something. I'm sure someone could tell me. And that's a little bit further away than Pirate Adventure Park. Um, I could place down a hotel. Oh, it's got to be within range. Okay. I could place down another hotel over here. They will compete with each other. But they should. Uh, so, so when they're competing, they don't give a full bonus. But it should still be a bonus, I would think. It's better to have two hotels than one. But maybe not like 20 hotels instead of like five or something. It's definitely diminishing returns. Or at least, at least that's what the tooltip would have me believe. Wait, why did our current number go down to 29? Did they just like slaughter a bunch of them every time they get to 34? Oh, you're finally not complaining about meat chop? Oh. They actually have work to do. That's great. They're actually producing sausages. That'll make our population happier and healthier. And then they'll work more efficiently. And tourism will work more efficiently. And stamina will be consumed more efficiently. It's a lot of efficiencies. Our hospital's built, which means we can now effectively treat all the different plagues. We could probably use more schools, but um, yeah. it's kind of slacking on that. We probably, s yeah, 25 paper. We pro I was going to say, we probably still aren't consuming or producing more paper than we're consuming wow it took a lot of saying we are probably not producing as much paper as we need to be fully consumed I, I don't know why I added that last part We're consuming as much paper as we're producing, and we could consume more if we produced more. So we should add some production into paper until we're overproducing paper. 
that way we can expand our paper into like other things like books which are better for research than paper it turns out who to thunk All right, and they're brushing away all the stuff here. And then they'll bring the stones and the cut stones. And they'll start building it. Town attractiveness, 47.3. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Town attractiveness influences the number of tourists prices in scenic areas and the number of immigrants from tourism or from tourists there are four ways to increase it meet tourist requests the primary way build tourism structures add decorations to scenic areas and increase the health and happiness of your town cool so we have one decoration in our pirate place we're building our second hotel, and then we'll start unlock unlocking more structures soon. And then we can kind of expand those structures out into each of these areas. That'll be how we focus on tourism. We did get all of our pumpkin treats worked out, right, for the jack-o'-lantern. So now all these pumpkin treats will be good for consumption. And we still have zero in total reserves, but with a hunger satisfaction of 150, a happiness of 60, and a stress of minus 15. I can see why they'd fly off the shelves, you know? And we can go back to times 10 speed, I think. Let them build this stuff out. Ooh, they could collect a new seed over here. Let's command them to gather it. We got plenty of people. Did we get it? There we go. What'd we get? I think it said it across the top, but I wasn't looking. Cherry, bamboo. I bet it's coffee seeds. Yep. Oh, wow. We got a lot of books. Good for us. Books are good. We could build a lot more schools and put those books in it. Ooh, we got this giant tree. Transplant it. When you transplant it, it gives you a regeneration time for trees. It's reduced by 10%. Last three years. So our trees will regenerate more quickly. And I'm going to use the exact word regenerate because uh, I don't want to use a, a similar word that means something different. So we're just going to stick to it. I don't know if that's like interval wise or if that's like just strictly growth rate. And since the game's English hasn't been like perfect, which is totally fine that it's not. I don't actually know what they mean when they say that word. I imagine that it's just overall growth and starting to grow. I imagine it's fairly all encompassing. Since we are getting our trees back quick more quickly, let's go ahead and cut some down. Now, the reason you might want to let trees regrow, um, other than just reforestation, is that under old trees is where like the herbs and stuff grow, and then that would be how you'd get new uh, seeds for crops without needing to purchase them. All right, so we've gotten a lot of sugar cane. So maybe it's time. I mean, is candy better? I 
I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. So maybe I can do that for resource variety. No candies. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the kids might want candies. Like, specifically. Traveling merchants here. He wants our geese and our wool. We'll sell him 740 wool. For 4,000 silver? Yes, please. We are heading towards the end of my staying awake time because just like every other day I have work this month. Ooh, a chest. I think that we need fishing gear to get it out though. And we don't have fishing gear. Yeah, fishing net. Oh well. I've never salvaged one of those, but I've definitely clicked on them before, and I don't think I've clicked on one on stream. I don't think I've seen one on stream, but I knew that you needed the fishing nets to be able to collect it. But anyway, so we were able to build our giant jack-o'-lantern and have our first feast. We are, you know, still within our first year of that feast. And it seemed like it made everyone pretty happy and pretty healthy. We have a hundred and two people that aren't working right now. We're still building houses. I really, I just don't know what to do with all those people. Like, I'm not sure how quickly I can give them places to work. Like, I guess if I, like, laid out my town in the first place knowing that I was eventually going to have 10 billion people living on this tiny map you know maybe I could have left room for more processing buildings to be right next to each other or maybe I could like like supply some logistics for people Like, we could get into the transfer supply and delivery stations, the warehouse, the durable storage yard, the cellar, and the storage boost. Um, and then how much people can carry would be nice. But we could be turning our cotton cloth into backpacks, which sounds pretty useful. Better than the baskets, I would imagine. Yeah, twice as good as the baskets. And we could make hand carts too. Which is a huge inventory increase. 150. Um, but yeah, uh, we got 7 technology points. So we're not too worried. I bet we could pick up a lot of stuff. That's all that paper and those research academies that we built. Coming into play. Plus 102 extra people like... What are we at? 472. That's great. We're about to finish our second hotel. And our second scenic area. They're actually pounding away at it right now with their hammers if time wasn't frozen. And then we'll have a second scenic place and a second season. Which should get us our points faster. And then we can spend our points on like these different commercial buildings. I think the cafe is what we're going to do next. And then, um, you know, kind of focus on tourism now that we've, you know, got the event stuff on lock. Uh, maybe we don't need as many pumpkins as we're growing, but eh, who cares? Maybe, maybe we'll replace them, maybe we won't. Um, oh, yeah, I can't make candy yet. I, I'm not making sugar yet. I've got the sugar... Uh, what's it? Sugar cane. But I don't have... I'm not processing it in sugar. So yeah, there's plenty of things that I, I... I need to give people some jobs. Maybe we grow across here and create a new settlement. 
and uh, we can start transferring this into like our resources area and this can be like our settle zone and then you know we'll have to spread out our different tourist spots and we can get even more pastures and yeah, may maybe. We'll, we'll do some thinking before the next episode. But, you know, now that the event's over, I'm probably not going to be squeezing as many of these episodes in. Um, I'm probably going to try and swing back to Against the Storm as my primary game. But uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to all my coworkers and friends and everyone that's given me a subscribe or a follow or a view so far. Thank you so much. It's massively appreciated. You know, all of our time is valuable, and I appreciate that uh, you consider your time with me valuable. And, um, you know, it, you can appreciate me back just by giving some views, giving some likes, giving some comments, or just doing whatever feels right for you. But thank you so much, and I'll catch y'all soon on another one. And Slice was right. Slice was right. Okay, Slice was right. Have a good one.